Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a video all on clubhead speed. This one is more about the hitting. So drills you can do in the driving range to increase your clubhead speed, increase the distance you hit the ball, and have a little bit of fun, I would say, whilst practicing. Now, what I'd recommend is you would do this for a small percentage of your practice, not the whole practice session. Probably do your technical stuff, hit some normal shots, and then finish with some speed work like this, in order just to up your clubhead speed ever so slightly and gradually session to session. So make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series on speed. So if you are a new viewer, please consider following, hit my logo down this bottom corner, join me on my journey, and let me help you lower your scores and improve your speed, or whatever it is we're talking about that particular week, by launch three videos a week, all designed to help lower your scores. Keep watching to see the hitting sequence to gain more speed. So hopefully you've seen the rest of the videos in this series all about speed and we've talked about stuff that you can do at home and we've talked about areas of the golf swing to move better or move differently to increase your speed. Today's video is really a hitting sequence. So it's a couple of drills that are gonna help you hit the ball faster off the club by producing more speed and also have some fun at the same time. So I wanna give you three, okay? One, or the first one, perhaps one of the easier ones is what I would class a step and hit. So a narrow stance at the start, lead foot kind of opposite the ball, swing back, step out and swing through. This is gonna help improve the sequence and how you move your body in downswing, firing in the lower half and let's say trailing with the upper half, trailing with the arms, trailing with the club head. So the speed gets produced into the golf ball at its fastest point. It's also gonna work on you moving the pressure and also kind of stamping into that ground a little bit more too. So it's gonna help lots of things and ties in with the other stuff we've already said. So we're gonna go ahead now and hit one step and hit. So as I said, take your grip as normal, put your feet together, lead foot opposite the ball, then move your trail foot away to just under shoulder width, because we're gonna step out. And then what I want you to do is as you swing back, step the lead foot out and then give it a whack. Don't be too precious on where they go. Don't be too precious on the strike. Just work on the sequence and timing of moving that lead foot to get that pressure moving and getting the sequence of how your body's gonna move on the way down to make you play better. Drill number two. This one is similar to drill number one. Slightly narrow stance, but what we're gonna do as we swing down and through, we're gonna step back and round the corner a little bit. This is gonna get me awfully close to my bag. But the idea in this is, is encouraging, again, the lead foot to move its pressure, the sequence, but also it's gonna encourage us to rotate. And you watch most of the long drive guys and their lead foot is working out of the way. So they're creating lots of space for the arms to throw themselves and get the body moved out the way with lots of rotation. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start with a narrow stance and step left as we swing down and give it again a bit of a whack. Again, the timing is hard. Don't worry about the strike. Don't worry where the ball goes. It's all about creating the movement. That's all we want. Now the third one is really going to be all about hitting it hard as you can and trying to almost get you to come out your shoes. So almost trying to feel like, you know, the footwork is so fast that your, sh your feet are trying to move. Your, your feet are moving in your shoes. So you're losing that little bit of balance and control. It's just about taking it to that extra step. So we're just going to hit a golf ball, trying to hit it very hard on the way down. Again, not after good strikes, after speed. That is it. So we're really just after that three sequence to get our speed. And what you can do if you want is do five balls of each and that's it. Or you can do one ball of each five times and that's it. So it's just to be thrown into your practice session somewhere to up that speed element. And that's it. And combine that with the other stuff and you'll be starting to knock the speed up in your golf technique very shortly. So hope you've enjoyed that and this is really just a little bit of fun to get your speed up. We're going to do one more video which is going to be a hitting sequence again to get your speed up. So keep 
out your eye out for that. It should be out shortly after this video, but we're going to do that one as well, and that completes the speed series. So there's lots of information there on how you can get more speed from some physical stuff, some practice swing stuff, some movement stuff, hitting stuff that are going to get you launching that ball further on the golf course and now driving your mates. Please post any questions you have or comments, particularly requests for videos. I love them. And also any questions you have down below. So really send the comments in if you can, gents and ladies. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. That really helps. Lastly, if you haven't followed me already, please hit my logo down this bottom corner and subscribe. Again, it helps the channel massively. It means I can spend more time and do more content to help you in your golf. So thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me here at the Forest of Arden in the UK. See you again here soon.